Oh, look how close. He screamed at me, you are not Pele. <laughs> I was really angry with myself. It's like a dagger in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jürgen. <laughs> How, How are you, my friend? Good to see you. I'm just looking over your shoulder, Jürgen. Is that have you put that there deliberately to rub it in? That's for you. I just wanted I to thought put it, it there it, for that's you. Really, that's really kind. There are some bigger versions of World Cups too, you know, but this is the small one that every player got. So oh, you all got one, did you? Copy. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice, so nice touch. Got. Nice touch. Going into the match, all I can remember is that we'd had two games in extra time. I don't know, I'd say this, but we had a day less rest than um, you guys. You'd cruise through, really, to, to the semi-final. I felt exhausted. Um, even the, the morning of the game, I woke up and I thought, I had no energy. But you know what adrenaline's like? It just suddenly felt OK. We felt like, you know, get our act together. No matter how difficult, obviously, this challenge will be, but we were ready for the game before this huge clash with England, with the Czech Republic, we played a real shitty game. <laughs> we played, we, we, Franz Beckenbauer was screaming at us. And when the Kaiser is furious, you know, that, that is kind of problematic, you know. I missed two, three backheel passes, you know, I thought I could put it in fancy. And he screamed at me and I never will forget his words. Uh, he said, you are not Pelé, you know, <laughs> I'm a Klinsman. This is one of the great fixtures in world football. England against West Germany in a World Cup semi-final. Yeah, it's, it's not often you kick off in a World Cup semi-final, is it? It was amazing, you know, how you, from the first second on, actually controlled the game. I mean, if the first 10, 15 minutes yeah. it was all about, well, all about England. England forcing a corner in the first few seconds here. The first moment here, I laid off to, to Gaza, basically perfectly. You know, I would have given an assist if he scored that goal. <laughs> we needed to actually survive this first couple of minutes because you put so much pressure on us and, and, uh, uh, and thankfully, you know, you didn't score right away. It was an amazing atmosphere. Your fans massively outnumbered our fans in that semi-final. Yeah, but you can always hear the English fans. <laughs> that <laughs> is loud. very true. <laughs> loud. They are yeah, loud and they're singing. These type of games need some, some brilliant moment from yeah. one brilliant player. Definitely Lothar Mateus had that capability to solve a game by himself. Yeah, and Gaza would have obviously been our man in that sense. Yeah. He could do something yeah. out of nothing. Beckenbauer told us about Gaza. So he prepared us for Gaza, but he also said, don't, don't worry too much about Gaza because he doesn't even know what he's going to do in the next second. <laughs> so how should, we <laughs> so figure, how should we figure it out? Klinsman making a nuisance of himself in the defensive wall. It's taken across to Argentala. I think kind of towards the end of the first half, um, yeah. we, we, we kind of freed off ourselves. Yes. You know, we were yes, you got better a good in the spell. game. Bobby Robson was actually quite happy at half-time with our performance. But um, you don't need motivating though in a World Cup semi-final, that's for sure. <laughs> One thing, you probably need calming down more than anything else. Germany, we had a good start the second half. I mean, you can see now how, you know, the battles everywhere, you know, tacklings everywhere. Germany with the free kick just outside the penalty area. I'm in the middle of the wall. I don't think I've ever stood in the middle of the wall before. Yeah, the ball was good. There was no, no fault from the wall. And no, obviously, when you get a deflection like that. Yeah. This was a lucky goal. <laughs> oh, this was an extremely lucky goal. <laughs> it's like a dagger in the stomach when you get, you know, something like that happens to you. Um, but you know what it's like, yeah. It, you go a goal down. I mean, people watching it, when they're watching, they, it's sort of like the end of the world. But when you're playing, you're so in it. It's just like, right, right, come on. I think in the time that we played, was probably the most difficult time ever for forwards in, in football. We had to commit like grievous bodily harm to get a yellow card back in those days. Oh, here's the goal. I must pause. I must pause. Just that. <laughs> I mean, that, I must say, that's the greatest feeling I've ever had in my life. That for, a few, for a few seconds, it was unbelievable. 
Ja, confused. Three defenders. In know. one split second. Pure luck. Pure luck. They yeah. all, in, the they all ran away from for you. Me. They the all ran just, away from you. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> they all went one way and the ball was on my thigh. I thought, I'll pull it this way. They kind of went oh, out the way. And yeah. then I just hit it with my left yeah. foot as well, volley, and it, I think it went through the legs. And the beauty of this game, really looking back at it, both teams wanted badly to win this game yeah. in the normal period of time. Yeah. You know, you are on that field, it's, it's just, you're living the moment. It's one goal apiece, and we're going to have 30 minutes of extra time to decide who goes into the final to play Argentina. Nowadays, often you said, oh, we need fresh legs. Yeah. You know? yeah. Whatever that means, you know, we need fresh <laughs> I, I legs. Needed to, I needed fresh legs. Uh, that is Mr. Klinsman with the ball. Uh, and uh, losing the ball again. Well, uh, you got away <laughs> with it. There you go. There's your chance. That's Walker. That's what Stez is so yeah. good at. So yeah. fast. Because you you were so quick as well, so, you know. There's Des Walker again and again yeah. and again, you know. They used to have this at Nottingham yeah. Forest when he played, they used to have this song, they all sing, you'll never beat Des Walker, you'll never <laughs> beat Des. And it was kind of true. Bremers available out wide left. Gets in a very good cross. Klinsman, great save, Shilton. We did that often in training. We did it in the games with Inter Milan. Mm over the years and and this was just a huge huge chance where i thought back my gosh you know got to put that in the, in the right in the yeah, bottom it's not about it's not a bad header though because you challenge don't you you know but then you think when do you ever get a chance like this in extra time against england i know i'm just trying to be kind to you Jürgen, that's all i uh, know you gotta get it. this is a hundred percent chance i thought back many times you know where i said yeah. you know you could have decided this game by yourself this is your chance yeah, here's my chance. Would you I, take the touch? I should have taken the touch, yeah. yeah I should have I just so. put, it, put it down a, a split yeah. second and that. And that was kind of the, the point after missing these two big chances, I was really, really angry with myself. It was a beautiful extra time period. I mean, imagine now yeah. that the, the fans, they must have kind of uh, bit their nails off and, and uh, <laughs> oh, it yeah. was a tremendous amount better, of Better playing than drama. watching. <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah. this is it. But you can this see the, here. Yeah, yeah, out of control. So here comes Gaza in. He comes late. Yeah. Uh, he had already a couple of fouls in the game himself. But yeah. because that's his intensity, that's, that's his way of playing it. He it's gives a it shame. everything. Yeah. And now, to be honest, I never realized that, you know, when we played the game, that it was yeah. his second yellow. That he will actually... Of the tournament. Oh, you didn't know. It. Yeah, we knew. I didn't know in that moment. Um, but it was just I a bit just, late. Yeah, but I could see his face. Started to cry. Was... This is a famous moment here when I yeah. do this because I'm talking to Bobby Robson. Have a word with him because he's starting to cry, and I'm think I'm yeah. thinking not I'm worried about Gascoigne, of course, but I'm also thinking, hey, we need him. On, we need him. I mean, the last, yeah. we've got 20 minutes to go, or whatever, in this game. We need him. Here's Waddle on his left foot. Chris Waddle. Oh, he's hit oh, the post. Look how close That's unbelievable. Was. No, Class. unbelievable shot. Yeah. yeah. Half time, half time now. This is that. What I mean, what a, that would have changed. I, I think he whistled. He whistled already. I mean, he blew half time already no, before the shot. Oh, he had not whistled already. <laughs> no. yeah. he have, I don't, I don't know now, why he did honest. it so quickly. I sort of wish he. I wish he had whistled already. I wouldn't feel so bad. He look. He hasn't whistled. <laughs> hasn't whistled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no what chance. a fantastic shot yeah. it was. Yeah. Oh. But then I after mean, he got off the post, of an inch. He, he, yeah. How's Platt? He's just high anywhere but there. Yeah. Just agonising. 15 more minutes to decide this semi-final. Still to this day, so many people want to talk about Italia 90 and Gaza and this tournament. And, yeah. and we didn't win it. <laughs> yeah. So for you, it must and be And he was speaking special. about, yeah, and speaking about Gaza. Now, when you see this tackle from Andy yeah. Bremer, this is really showing respect for Gaza yeah. because we knew by then okay you know he's going through an emotional roller coaster yeah. and he can still hurt us and when you have a player on in your end that can still hurt you that's when you do a foul like this yeah. you want to just signal him hey don't fool around anymore you know you're not scoring against yeah. us anymore because that was not a normal foul this was actually was offside a here? really offside? ugly foul you know what I you have know, my doubts close, you know it's very, close. very close. It's very close. If you look well, at it now, stop. 
Yeah. Oh, he's on yeah. side, man. I didn't realise that. He's on side. Yeah. He's on side. Yeah, he's on side. Where's VAR yeah. when you need it? Oof. There's a chance. You'll never beat Des oh. Walker. Same old <laughs> game. Des Walker. <laughs> Here comes Guido Buchwald. Here's the outside of the post, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're a minute away from a penalty shootout here. Well, you, 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 you do start to think now, don't you? You start thinking whether you're going to take a penalty or not. Because you didn't take one, Jürgen. I presume you were one of the penalty takers that sought to take one originally, weren't you? Or? Yeah, maybe originally. We never actually... Uh, Trained oh, them under Beckenbauer, um, but uh, um, I was just not in an emotional state. I missed those two chances there in extra time, and I I felt like you know I didn't do my job. Beckenbauer's uh, ability was really he could read players. He could because he lived it himself. He played it himself. He knew exactly who was in a good positive state of mind. It will be Germany's Bodo Ilgner to face the first English penalty which will be taken by Gary Lineker. With our five, we, we had, he asked for, you know, who, who wants to take one? We'd already been a list and we, four of us put a hand up and then there was no one else. And in, he, he pointed at Chris Waddle, he said, it'll have to be you, man. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm up first. I wanted to take the, I was a penalty taker. We thought I should take the first one and um, there's, there's, there's such a relief. <laughs> such a relief when you hit the back of the net. I think it's also the most difficult one to take the first one, Gary. To take the first penalty because you set the tone. I had a conversation with Peter Shilton because we we roomed together. We watched every we watched every game and there were lots of penalties and a few penalty shoots outs, including the night before, of course, with Italy and Argentina. And we sort of said, if you maybe stay and wait to see where it's going, you'll probably save at least two because you know there's always at least two poor penalties in an every penalty shooter. So that was his tactic. He waited quite a long time, Peter, there too. Yeah, he was watching to see where they were going. It's my fault. I take the blame. Here we go. Of all the people, I, I thought he would score, Pierce. He doesn't miss. He scored a lot of penalties and hits it hard. Yeah. But. So there's your hero. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Stuart Pearce cry. He was such a hard man, such a hard man, but he, he, he destroyed him. The sad part for Stuart was he had actually a, a really, really good game. You know, yeah, he did. He game, did. He went he did. up and down. He played a very, very good game. We go poor Chris I was just I, to be honest I was we're in trouble now anyway because even if Chris scores they've got one to win it but I'm just thinking just put the pressure on because if he scores you never know you know you never know oh he's missed he's blown it over the bar and Germany are through to the World Cup final for the third tournament in succession that's it there's a bit here I think where Mateus actually goes to Chris Waddle before he yeah. joins your piling, which I thought was a really lovely gesture. I thought that was a nice touch. In yeah. fact, the, there was such great sportsmanship in that game anyway. The players had a massive amount of respect for each other. Obviously, we're choked. I mean, it's the most awful kind of desolate feeling that you, you can imagine. Both managers were charismatic. They're almost like country leaders for these four weeks. And I think both uh, have done their, an amazing job yeah. because it reflected everyone involved in the game. How were you after the game? Because you've obviously you've spoken throughout this, Jürgen, about how disappointed you were in your own performance. Yeah, I know. It, it ate me up a little bit uh, the night after, to be honest. Yeah. This is what really Beckenbauer did extremely well. He made you live in the moment. So we trained the next morning at 10 o'clock and he made it clear it's all about the final now. He said some really nice words to me at the end of the game about my performance. I'd never forgotten it because he came up and he said, you, you, you played great. You, you know, I thought it was a lovely thing to do. He just put his arm around me. I, I always yeah. appreciated that. We felt we'd 
done ourselves proud. We felt we'd played well. We were beaten by, the, we think, the best side in the tournament. Um, and for the second World Cup running, we'd been beaten by the winners. So, congratulations yeah. on your World Cup win. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I look back on in my career. Um, not regret's the wrong word. It's the only thing I think, if only. If you win a World Cup, as you have done, that gives you football immortality. You will forever be Jurgen Klinsmann, German World Cup winner. And that is fabulous, and I envy you. I also admire you because you're such a great guy. You've been such a great player. Um, so if it could happen to anyone, I'm glad it happened to you. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. It's been really enjoyable uh, watching that back, or most of it anyway. Um, and, and great <laughs> to see you. No, thanks for Good doing to see it. you it's too. Good to see you too.